What is going on guys and girls, my name is of course BPR Gaming and today I will be bringing you a video on the villains that we will be seeing in Spider-Man PS4 as well as some villains I personally want to see in the game. So if you guys do want to enjoy the video then click the like button down below and make sure you subscribe to stay up to date with the latest and greatest Spider-Man PS4 content. As well as that, subscribing is free so you may as well do it to stay up to date and ahead of the game as always. So without further ado let's get straight into the video so guys before we start the video I want you to do something for me if you can right now go over to twitter.com forward slash BPR gaming YT and drop me a follow then you'll be entered into a giveaway for any copy of spider-man ps4 you desire okay basically my account got blocked by Twitter my old one and now I need to create a new one, but if you guys can get me up to 100 plus followers in 24 hours, then I'll be doing a full giveaway of a copy of Spider-Man PS4 console of your choice. So guys, go do that now. But now, let's get into the video. So guys and girls, we have just had a barrage of brand new information for Spider-Man PS4, including new abilities, new combat techniques, new web swinging abilities, and a whole bunch of other news and tidbits of information that we can all dive into. This video is specifically going into the main villains we will combat throughout the campaign of Spider-Man PS4. So of course we have the two villains we know we will fight, the first one obviously being the Kingpin. Now I believe that at the beginning of the game we will take down Kingpin in some Spider-Man-esque action combat way that will just be beautiful for the fans to really enjoy and get into the game. I believe that actually maybe even the main introduction to the game is taking down Kingpin where we learn about web swinging, combat, our new gadgets, what our suit can do as well as the environment in which we can use stealth and of course all badassery attacks. The next is of course Mr. Negative. He is confirmed to be the main villain throughout the game however I believe after we take him down there will be some sort of impact that will unleash a whole bunch of other villains. Mr. Negative being the main villain means that Spider-Man and Peter Parker will have to combat his ideals and his friendships with Martin Lee. Being Mr. Negative he's gonna have to put them aside and face down against his worst enemy and one of his greatest allies. As well as that guys they go into what Spider-Man will be like and of course a 23 year old Peter Parker how he will interact throughout the game. Now as well as this in the first entry to the game we obviously have an introduction to Peter's home and of course we can see loads of illustrations of web shooters, gadgets but we also see a handful of daily bugle newspapers hanging precariously on the wall. Now these are each highlighting different villains and these villains are Electro, Scorpion, the Rhino and the Vulture. These are the main villains on front and center and this got me thinking, these villains are part, well could be part of the Sinister Six. What if they are in the game? Now the Sinister Six were a team of highly skilled super villains that banded together to finally try to take down Spider-Man. Now this was obviously reprised of Dr. Octopus, Vulture, Electro, Kraven the Hunter, the original Mysterio and Sandman. Obviously throughout all of the incarnations, Shocker joined as well as different other villains that Spider-Man has faced throughout his time being a superhero. These of course are villains that we could all see in the game, several of which are confirmed to be in there from Game Informer. So I think Insomniac have created their own kind of Sinister Six team, maybe with Martin Lee, Mr. Negative being at the forefront of the team. So guys, also one villain I think we could possibly see is Venom. Why? As you can see on your screen now, this is an image of the statue you can get from the Spider-Man Collector's Edition but the actual piece of work that Spider-Man is on top of is closed off. Insomniac said they don't want to reveal what this is yet due to spoilers for the game. But if we zoom in right now, we can see that Spider-Man's legs are all covered in black and you can see tidbits of gooey webbiness coming out from the box. Now to me, that very much resembles the way Venom looks and the way the symbiote reacts to damage that is done to him. It'll be great and finally cool to see a fantastic Venom villain in the game and also it could open the ways to a new black suit which we could use in Spider-Man PS4's open world. So guys and girls that has been it for this video if you have enjoyed then click that like button down below. Also guys again follow me on Twitter at BPRGamingYT. It's my new Twitter my other one got locked for some bullshit reason but guys hope you all have an amazing day. Subscribe if you're new and I'll see you guys in the next video.